that's always something great to see at a place that you'd never fished before. What's going on everybody? Welcome back here with another episode of Lip Ripping Outdoors. Today I'm actually out here at a pond I've never fished at before, but I've never been here before. But upon first glance, I really don't th oh one just surfaced right here actually. I was gonna say I really don't know if there's any structure I'd be holding the fish to one side of the pond or the other because this is literally just a big concrete pit filled with water. Alright, this looks as good a spot as any. Oh, yeah, and there's a ton boiling. I'm gonna throw out some power bait real quick. I haven't fished with this for a minute. Let's be quick about this. Got our piece of power bait on our Carolina rig here. Get this little toss out there. All right, and over here on the lure rod, I've got homemade marabou jig. Jig just hanging out of his mouth there. Nice, good size rainbow, probably 16 inch. Get this guy back. Thanks for playing, buddy. Oh, shoot. So I'm just falling out straight. Oh, pulled out of his mouth. No. Oh, no, I got him. My drag just loose as heck. Got one on the power bait here. Oh, shoot. Do I have some stringer? I've got two fish on this. What the heck? Dude, I've never done anything like this before. What the heck? Those two fish are on someone's choke. They're choking on someone's line. They're both alive, but I caught some line. What the heck? Let's cut the line and let these two guys go. Pretty little fish. Let's cut that line. Here you go, buddy. Never seen anything like this before. See you later, buddy. Nope. Pond is that way. This one looks like he's been drugged around by that other fish for a while. He's really tired. There he goes. Wow. Never seen anything like that before. Alright, got some white power bait on now. Let's toss out there. Got him. Doesn't feel huge. Yeah, it's just a little planter guy. He's got a lot of fight to him, though. What's up, Squeaky McGee? That's just a little one. Alright, thanks for playing, buddy. Oh, shit. Another one on the bait. Oh, he's about in between the first two. Come here, buddy. Not a terrible one. Real pretty good. Right. See you later, buddy. That's a pretty one. Oh, he's a little marked up, but. There's one. There's one. There's one. Little guy on the marabou. All right, just a little guy in the marabou. That's two fish I've fallen victim to my marabou jig. There's another. Next cast. See, oh, that one's better for sure. Uh, not huge, but better than the last one I just caught. Jig hanging out of that dude's face. I'll take it. 
take it all day. Let's get him back. Oh my gosh, there's a division truck here. Dude, they're gonna plant fish off the launch ramp here. I've never actually been anywhere and they plant a fish before. This is gonna be awesome. Those things won't be biting for a minute. Yeah, there's a few hundred in here that are still biting right now though. Well that was pretty cool. I've never actually been at a place when they actually stock them with fish. They usually open up a tube but he only had about 100 pounds of planter sized rainbows there. Nothing huge but I understand why there are fish jumping all over on that corner now. It's just because they get planted right there. Those fish won't be biting for a minute. They won't bite bait for a few days, but after a few hours of just being planted, I might be able to get them with reaction lures, but I don't think I'll be here for that long. But still something really cool to see out here. If you guys are wondering what pond this is I'm at as well, this is called Spanish Oaks. If you guys are in the Spanish Fork area, this little community pond is especially stocked for you guys. trying to take my rod and my bag into the water. Okay. They're still munching up her bait, I guess. I was gonna say, it better not be a small one if he's pulling the whole thing in like that. <sighs> Give him a good 13 inches. Yeah, not a terrible size one at all. There you go. There he goes. See you later, buddy. Got an HD trout rigged up now in a ghost rainbow trout pattern. Let's see how this thing fares. There's one. On the HD trout. Oh no, he popped off! Dang it, dude. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, no, I've actually been putting all mine back. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got one of the big brood stock there. I just don't want him to go to waste. Yeah, I don't have a cooler or a string or anything like that, unfortunately. Dude, I had another one on that was just as big, and it broke me off, so. I haven't hooked into any of that big today. Right on. Good luck, dude. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm switching back to the Maribu jig to see if I can pick up a few more fish before I get out of here. This is another homemade one. This is a, got kind of a buckskin tail, black front on it, and then some chartreuse in the center of the body there. Just a little more natural with a little pop still. There's one. Not one of those monsters, but we'll take it. See you, dude. Just a little one. Just a little, dude. You're what those bigger ones are eating, dude. I hate to break it to you. Cool little fish, though, none the least. Alrighty, everybody. So the morning bite uh, shut off, and the fishing has kind of died since then. So I am going to call it there and call this a successful day. I am getting hungry, need to get out of here, go get myself some food, and edit some more videos for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching this one so much. I definitely enjoyed making this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below, and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. That way you can stay tuned for the next episode of Lip Ripping Outdoors. And as always, guys, tight lines, and I'll catch you later.